Jay left 47. Listen. Listen. You have insecure individuals in this world who feel like they're not worthy of love. That's because that self-esteem is so low. They can't really think of many things that they like about themselves. They don't like what they see in the mirror. They feel like they're ugly, unattractive, boring, corny, lame, and not worthy of love. Why would somebody want to be with me? I'm corny. I'm ugly. I don't have no personality. I don't have a body. I don't have a pretty face. I'm not like most people. I'm different. I'm misunderstood. Let me let you know something. Whether you believe in God or not, the universe do not create people who <sighs> let me put it like this we're all like pieces of puzzles we're all like plugs and everybody has a match no one is created to be alone on this earth and I don't care what flaw you have I don't care how ugly you think you are I don't care how corny you think you are or how undesirable you think you are there is somebody out there that would love you just for you not for what you have not for what you can offer them not because of your social class, your status, or your money. But they just love you. They can't live without you. Can't breathe without you. Can't go an hour without thinking about you. And they are willing to accept you in your worst state. You don't gotta have no money. You don't gotta have a car. You don't have to have an education. They love you for the person you are. They love your inner being. They love your spirit. That's what true love is. They love you unconditionally. And they will ride or die with you through thick and thin. Cross every river. Climb every mountain. And they will stick to you like white on rice. Because they love you. They truly love you. Let me tell you something. I've seen people who are mentally retarded. And I've seen people who many people would say, look, my shirts, very unattractive. Fall in love. Find a companion. Find that soulmate. Listen, we all have fans. We all have a fan base. I don't care how fat you are, how unattractive you think you are. There's always a number of people out there in this world that will love you just the way you are. Ain't that amazing? As I say, we all have a fan base. You know, because everybody in this world has a type. You understand what I'm saying? So, for you, J Love may be very unattractive, but for the next girl or guy, J Love may be the best looking person that they've ever seen. He may be perfect for them.
I say this to let you know that you don't have to change who you are to find love. Be yourself. Be unique. Be true to yourself. Be true to who you are. And change your mindset. Stop thinking nobody wants me. I'm never going to find a girl. I'm never going to find a guy. I'm never going to fall in love. There is somebody out there for you. But you have to think positive and realize that your positive mindset is what's going to bring that person towards you. It's what's going to help you attract that person. See, in life, you cannot attract positive things with having a negative mindset or negative outlook. Oftentimes, when you go into something thinking negative, this is actually what you get out of it. There's power in the tongue. You can speak things into existence. You can make a habit out of thinking positive. And you would come to find out that because of the law of attraction... The more that more positive energy that you put out there into the universe, the more positive results that you would get back in return. You cannot get out of life what's not in you. If you're a negative minded person, all you're going to see is negativity. Sometimes what humans tend to do, we make the mistake of Painting our own life. Life is truly what you make it. And you can paint your own life. You can blur your perception. Sometimes things are really not as bad as you think they are. It's your negative mind that gets in front of you. That makes you think or give you the illusion and creates the illusion. That things are really worse than what they are. Because it's the way that you're perceiving the situation. It's the way that you're looking at the situation. You know, there can be two individuals that have the same illness. Both can have cancer. Both can be in a stage four of terminal cancer. Or have a terminal illness. A deadly disease. But one can be at such peace. Serene. Comforted. Calm. Relaxed, not worried about a thing. While the other person that's sickly and ill can be devastated and scared and terrified. Why is it that these two people that have the same illness have a totally different temperament? It's because they are looking at their situation from two different lenses. They're not looking at it from the same perspective. You can have two people that can lose their job. One wants to kill themselves. Another person start filling out more applications. It's about your perception. You know, things are only as bad as we make them. We give the bad thoughts in our mind, we give it power. We give it life. Because we put more into it. Than it actually has. We give it more power than it actually has. And sometimes we can create. Our own demons in our mind. By overthinking things. Being overly analytical. That sometimes you can create a belief. That's not even reality. And you would. Fall so deep into that negative mindset that you will begin to think that that negative mindset and that negative belief and outlook that you have is actually reality when it's not. It's just your belief. Change your mindset. You're not going to be able to See or recognize any good qualities in a woman or a man when you're looking at them through the eyes of a negative person. You are a negative minded person. So naturally when you, your, your mind is so consumed with negativity 
the first thing that your mind is going to pick out are the negative qualities in a person. Say for example, a white girl that had uh, nothing but bad experiences with black men. All the black men that she ever dealt with abused her. When she see a black man, the first thing that she's going, she's not going to see the good qualities that that black man has. She's going to see all the memories that's stored in her brain that, and that, that resulted from her previous experiences with those black men. So let's take that analogy and let's use this analogy onto you. You negative people out there that feel like you would never find the partner. You would never find the companion. You'd never find the perfect one. Let's say your girl cheated on you or your last three or four girlfriends or boyfriends cheated on you. In the future, now because you have such a negative outlook on relationships and a negative view on relationships, it's going to cloud your judgment because all you see is negativity. You say, you really can't see my face. These hands are negativity. You can't really see my face. And I'm looking at the camera and I can see the camera, but I can't really see it clearly. What I see is this negativity that's in front of it. What you have to do is get rid of that negativity so that you can see things clearer. Because when you remove the negativity, it allows you to see the positivity in people. It allows you to spot out the good qualities in people. But as long as you have this pessimistic mindset that all people are bad, all girls are cheaters, all men are like my last boyfriend, all men are abusive, all women are hoes, all women are liars. When you actually see a good woman, you're not going to even recognize that she's good because all these negative thoughts are going to be stuck in your mind that these negative thoughts are going to create the illusion that she's a negative person or a bad girl when she's really not. But that's what's in your head. So it becomes a mental thing now. It's almost like a person that has anxiety. They're very paranoid. And they see things or sense things that's not really there. Because people are always judging them in the past. Now they walk around feeling like every time somebody look at them, they judge me. Oh, he looking at me. He judged me. No, the guy was just simply looking at you because you look like somebody that he once knew. You look familiar. But you see how your experiences have shaped and molded your perception in the way that you view the world? Because you had so many bad experiences with women. When you look at women, all you're able to see is the negativity in them and not the positivity in them. Because you had so many bad experiences with men, all you can see is or remember is the negative experiences and not the positive experience. You may actually run across a good person and you're not even capable of realizing that they're a good person because of all the negative thoughts that's blurring your vision. Those negative hands again. Those negative thoughts that's getting in the way of you seeing that person for who they truly are. Change your mindset. Realize that there is somebody out there for you. We all have fans. We all have a group of people out there that like us. I don't care if you got one leg. You're going to find somebody that's going to love you and your one leg. We all have a companion. We all have a... We all have a socket. We're all plugs. And there's somebody that we're going to plug into. We all have that perfect person, that, that match. Everybody has a match. If you believe in the law of balance. Where are they? Maybe you're not giving yourself the best chance to meet them because maybe you're just staying in the same city. Maybe you're not venturing out. Maybe you're looking in all the wrong places. You also have to correct yourself, make some personal changes. Because at the end of the day, you attract what you are. And that, that saying is really true. 
You know, if you look around in your life, you'll notice that most of the people in your circle are most likely just like you in some way, shape or form. You're not a positive thinker. Not many positive thinkers are around you. Surround yourself with positive people. Think positive. Have a positive outlook. Get in the habit of seeing the good and even bad situations. And realize that you don't have to change who you are to attract the person. You don't have to change who you are to be loved. You don't want to. Because that kind of love is not real. You want someone to love you for who you are. Exactly as you are. And accept you for you because it's real love. You just realize that oftentimes when you're looking for a relationship, it's not when you find something. It's just the way the universe works. You get what you want when you're not looking for it. There's somebody out there for you. We all have a match. We all have somebody out there that we're compatible with. Somebody that like the same things you like. Somebody that have the same mindset you got. Somebody that see life the same way you see life. Just what makes sense of God or the universe created people that didn't have anyone else that was congenial with them or like them. That's why I don't care what kind of person you are, what kind of culture you come from. We got people of all different walks of life. There's always somebody out there that like the same things you like. There's always somebody out there just like you that you're going to befriend or fall in love with. Just wait. Have a positive mindset and realize that it will happen. The more you keep thinking it won't happen, it won't happen. You do the same thing, you get the same results. So maybe if you try changing your thinking process and thinking positive, you will get positive results. Wish you the best of luck. JLF47.